everybody, my name's Liz and I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are already a subscriber. Thank you so much to everybody for your likes and comments on my last video which was me sharing what I got up to um, in June, what I was busy making. Lots of it with baby clothes. Uh, a couple of people commented saying that I should totally keep the hat and then other people saying that they would um, put their baby in the hat. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll link the video down below so you can go and watch it. But I made a baby hat using some Frida Kahlo jersey and I wasn't sure whether my friends would actually put their babies in the hat because it is a bit out there. Um, and I just couldn't bring myself to gift it if it wasn't going to get used. So I've kept it and I don't have a baby to put in the hat. So anyway, today's video is going to be a review of what I'm wearing. So I am wearing the Nina Lee Park Lane dress. So I'm going to talk about her patterns and the Park Lane pattern. But I'm also going to be talking about the fabric that I chose. Um, and this fabric was gifted to me because I am part of the Felicity Fabrics blogger network. There's a group of us. Um, it's a really lovely um, group. We've got a WhatsApp chat and we talk to each other and really support each other. And I'm really honoured to be part of that. So um, Caroline and Fliss, who run Felicity Fabrics, got in touch with me just over a month ago and asked if I would like to be part of their blogger team. I'm really new to vlogging, I'm really new to blogging too, um, and I am in the process of developing my own website where I can put blogs and reviews and things. Um, so I was blown away when they asked me if I wanted to be part of the team, and I'm really grateful for the opportunity. So before we get started, this fabric was gifted to me um, in return for the blog post. I, it was up to me what fabric I wanted to choose, it was completely up to me what pattern I chose to use as well. And it was really good fun browsing their website. So I'll start from the beginning and then I will stand up and show you what I'm wearing and as ever I've got my notebook in front of me so if I do look down I'm just double checking um, what I'm saying. Then I will stand up and I'll share the dress but I will also insert better photos of me wearing this as well because it's very difficult to get the whole dress on camera. So, I am a blogger for Felicity Fabrics, which is lovely and really exciting. I love their website, it's really easy to navigate. And as I'm talking you through this, I will insert some um, screen footage that I've um, recorded of me navigating the website so that you can see. So they've just had their first birthday, which is amazing. Um, it feels like they've been open for a lot longer than a year, and I'm sure they feel like that too. They've got a huge range of fabrics on their website um, and like, like I said they've got a huhuge range of fabrics. They've got cottons, chambray, um, there's boucle, chiffon, cord, they've got some beautiful soft corduroy and jerseys and then they've also got some cotton dobby which is beautiful and I think they've got some um, double gauze as well. So they have got a sale on at the moment so do go and check that out because there are some bargains to be had. Um, and when you go to their website, you will see that there is, um, you get like the, the main page and then there are subheadings for you to click on. So they do fabric, they also sell patterns and there's a haberdashery section as well. And then they always have like a band that um, shows, I don't know if band is the right word, but um, something that pops up that shows the recently, um, the fabrics that have just been added to the website, so the new in fabrics or new in patterns. Um, I really like the look of their website, it's nice and clean, it's really easy to navigate so when you click on the fabrics it takes you to the fabric page and then you can filter or sort them so you can either do it by new in, um, highest price, lowest price, um, there might be like alphabetical, I can't remember, by fabric type um, and then it brings all the fabrics up and then you can click on the fabric and get a quick view or you can click on it and it will take you to the uh, main page where it gives you a bit more information about the fabric. So when I was looking for fabric for my blog post, um, I absolutely love drapey fabric. And this just jumps straight out at me. It's a soft sort of, I think it's called a smoky blue fabric. Um, I'll put close up pictures of the fabric for you to see. Um, and instantly I knew what I wanted to make. I love a dress, absolutely love dresses. It's definitely my go-to pattern. Um, so I instantly wanted to make the Nina Lee Park Lane dress. Now before I looked up this pattern, I already had it in my um, pattern stash anyway, and I've already made a couple, one which is hanging behind me. And the reason it's hanging behind is because there's a few details that I didn't do on this dress that I did on that one, so I thought I could talk to you about. So I already had the Nina Lee Park Lane pattern. I've made a couple of them already and one is hanging behind me. Um, and before I looked up, because I've got the PDF version, so I don't have the printed instructions, so I won't be holding it up 
the line drawings but I will insert the line drawings so that you can see what it looks like um, but yeah before I looked at the pattern online because I bought it when it first came out I didn't realize that Nina has made her one of the dresses that she's modeling in almost the exact same fabric um, so that was a happy coincidence so when I did go back on to do some research and sort of have a look on Instagram because even though I've made it before I still like to go back with any pattern go back and have a look and just get some inspiration and my main sources of inspiration are either Pinterest or Instagram. Instagram is where I go first of all and I'll type in the hashtag of that pattern um, and up popped Nina wearing an almost identical dress so I knew that this fabric would work perfectly and the um, dress pattern calls for drapey fabrics. So you can make the dress version or you can make a blouse. The blouse you can get away with a, a firmer fabric, but for the dress you do want something with a bit of drape. So this fabric, which I got from Felicity Fabrics, was absolutely perfect. And it's a Lady McElroy fabric um, and it is called Anissa Sketch Smoke Blue. It's 100% viscose and it's a viscose chalice. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Viscose Chalice Lawn, quite a mouthful. And for the pattern, I got two meters and I knew that two meters would be plenty. Um, so the pattern, onto the pattern. It calls for drapey fabric, so visco viscose, um, a rayon, crepe, silk, any of those fabrics would be perfect. But like I said, if you wanted to make the blouse, then you can go for something a bit more with a bit more structure. So you could go for a cotton lawn, which is still quite soft, a chambray, double gauze would work for the blouse perfectly. I haven't actually made the blouse, I've only ever made the dress version. Um, I'm not a massive fan of wearing blouses. I don't know why, I just they're not really my style. So, I got the fabric, popped it in the wash, and one of the really lovely things about Felicity Fabrics is that um, they always include a swatch within your box. And I've got a parcel, obviously not the parcel that this fabric came in, but I have ordered something else from them that I've paid for. So I just thought I'd show you how you get the fabric. And it comes in this beautiful box, which says Felicity Fabrics, luxury is handmade, um, established in 2019. I'm still amazed that they've only been going for a year. Um, it's always closed with a sticker and then you open it up and inside it's wrapped in tissue paper and then you get a lovely little envelope which always has a little note in there so a handwritten note um, and then you also get a swatch so I have bought um, some cotton it's called Martha and it's broidery broidery anglais I can never say that but that's the fabric that's in this box so for this fabric, I got a swatch as well, just detailing what the fabric's called and on the back it tells you the fabric name, the composition, how much you paid and also the care guide, which I really love because if I've forgotten how to care for this fabric, I can always go and get my little swatch card and it will remind me. So that's how any of their sort of fabrics, even their haberdashery um, items, like their buttons, I've got their buttons here come in a little parcel like this but then they're also in a little box it's just a really nice detail and you also get your receipt your printed receipt popped in there too which again is a really lovely little detail that you get so there's a lot of love and care that goes into packaging them up speedy delivery wonderful website to use um, and a lovely range of fabrics also patterns and a lovely range of buttons like I've bought so many of their buttons um, I absolutely adore the button range that they've got so do go and check out their website and again I'll link their website down below. So I'll stand up and show you the dress and then I'll move on to talk a bit more about the pattern. Um, and there's a few things that I did differently. So this is the dress, it's sort of got these little pleats under the bust and then it's got quite a high waist here. So there's my natural waist just to give you an idea. My natural waist is here, so it's just under the bust and then yeah it's got these lovely little gathers that you get. Um, quite a high neckline and it's finished with a facing and then you've got the sleeve so you can change the sleeve length and what I decided to do with my um, Park Lane dress is I, elast I elasticated the cuff. I added elastic to the cuff just here because I just wanted this sort of bunched feel, uh, not feeling, this bunched look. So I added a bit of elastic to the cuff and it just gives it this sort of bunched look. So on the pattern what you are supposed to do is um, gather the sleeve into a hem cuff band. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. You gather the sleeve into a cuff. Um, but I didn't want that. I wanted something that I knew 
would sit here but cause this sort of, I guess, gathering. It's a bit sort of bunched up. I really like that look. It's got a side zip and then you've also got like a keyhole opening at the back and I'll put pictures in because it's quite difficult to show you this but it's got this keyhole opening at the back. And then the skirt, if I can stand up and show you, um, sort of a, it's sort of a curved hem and then the same at the back. That's really difficult to show you but this, I'll put photos in because it's much easier to show you with a photo. Then we're going to talk about the pattern. I've already told you that you can make the blouse and you can also make the midi dress. The midi dress is what I'm wearing. Um, I've told you about the sleeves and I've told you about the gathering under here, under the bust. Um, sizes, so it comes in sizes 6 to 20 and you can get a PDF or you can get a printed pattern. Um, and you can get that from Nina Lee but I also know that she stocks her patterns with lots of other independent businesses. Um, I got the PDF. I don't think the printed version was out, otherwise I would have got the printed version because I do prefer that and then I would have traced it off. So I got the PDF and I got it printed by the fold line um, and they're a great um, company to go to for printing your patterns too. What I really like about them is you get a little envelope to store your pattern pieces which is what I've got. Nina Lee is an, a UK based pattern company, she's based in London, all of her patterns are named after places in London, so we've got the Park Lane dress, there's the Q dress, the Mayfair dress, the Bloomsbury blouse, um, Piccadilly pyjamas, there's loads. She's got about 13 patterns in total, they're not all printed, you can't get them all as printed patterns, some of them are just PDF only and I know that she's got a really great summer range where you get a little top and a dress, um, I think you might get two tops and a dress from what I can remember but I'll link her website down below so that you can um, go and have a look at all of her patterns. I absolutely adore her patterns, I've got most of them. The only ones that I haven't got, I haven't got the pyjamas, is that the only one that I haven't got? And then she's done an um, extension for the Q dress. So my dress, I chose to keep the sleeve length as it is. I just added elastic around here. Um, I kept the bodice and the skirt the same. I made a size eight. Again, I'll put my measurements down below. But one lovely detail, which I'll get this dress down to show you, which I didn't do, but you can include it. And I actually cut out the pattern piece to do this but for some reason I just didn't include it I don't know why she's got this really cute detail on the shoulder so you can add like a cute little ruffle here within the shoulder seam um, and I don't know why I didn't do that because I had planned to include a little ruffle so it just goes in here you insert the ruffle first and then you insert the sleeve and it's a really cute little detail but for some reason I just didn't do that I don't know why um, the neckline is finished with a facing so I've just got my facing on the inside. Um, again, with this one, I just left the sleeve as it was. So it's quite loose on me. But what you're supposed to do, and I quite like that loose feel, what you're supposed to do is gather the sleeve into a cuff band. Um, but I chose not to. Um, the same with the skirt length. So I'll hold it up so you can see. And then we've got the gathers just under the bust. I found the instructions really easy to follow. Um, it came together really simple. Um, I would say it is a pattern that a confident beginner would be able to have a go at. There's no real tricky techniques. Um, I think it would be tricky if you chose to use a slippery fabric. This viscose was an absolute dream to sew with. It sewed up really easily, which is great. Um, the pattern instructions by Nina are absolutely incredible. Um, I didn't have any problems following her instructions at all. The only tricky bit is inserting the zip because it's a side zip. So once you've inserted the zip, the rest is quite straightforward. It comes together really easily and it's quite an easy dress to fit actually. There is a little bit of room. It's not figure hugging on the top, which I quite like. I like being able to move around. I don't want this part to be really restrictive. Um, so in terms of fitting, I found it quite straightforward to fit. I chose to grade, because my hips are quite narrow, so although I cut an eight, um, I did grade slightly towards a six for the hip area, because I just didn't want it to swamp me around there, but that's the only adjustment that I made, and I graded ever so slightly. But I think if I'd have just left it as it was with an eight, it would have been absolutely fine, because this fabric is so drapey, it wouldn't have sort of 
stuck out like a maybe a firmer fabric would have done um yeah i adore nina lee patterns she holds your hand throughout the whole process um and it's quite an easy pattern to change if you want to like i added the elastic here so it's quite an easy pattern to adapt and adjust and i think next time i might try more of like a flutter sleeve so it's a much shorter sleeve i'll see a bit like the so over at eve dress they've got a flutter sleeve i might try and add that to the park lane dress um but overall really really lovely pattern really beautiful fabric um and quite a straightforward sew i can definitely see a lot more park lane dresses in my life in the future i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk about my nina lee park lane dress i'll link all of the details that i've talked about down below do go and pay felicity fabrics and nina lee a visit and my next video will be me talking about my july plans what i'm hoping to get sewn up in the month of july thanks a lot take care i'll be back soon with another video bye